I could not come to this place if I had been arrested with my friends who went to demonstration on the fourth anniversary of the coup, requesting the election from the junta. I would like to salute them, their goodwill and democracy spirit that they try to bring for us, to preserve for us in Thailand. My life was hardly any different from the average Thai student growing up in Thailand. I was raised in a lower middle class Thai family. I was an average student in school. I paid no interest to politics and kept mandatory crew cut hairstyle and strict enforcement of uniforms. That is until one time as a student journalist, I drafted an article questioning why teachers had to interfere with student heads. I asked a teacher who I trusted to review the article. Within a few hours later, I heard an announcement on the loudspeaker summoning me to the school office. There, I faced five hours of interrogation simply for posing the question why teachers had to interfere on student heads. This experience turns from me in the eyes of the teachers into the one as a student who posed as a threat to school security, <laughs> which I took to be my greatest compliment. In 2014, General Prayut Chan Ocha led the Thai army to launch a coup d'etat. They established a junta to govern the country. There were widespread against the junta, and in response, there were arrested protesters. This wasn't the first time that Thailand government had clutched a protest movement. 40 years ago, student activists were brutally massacred by rabid nationalist forces in equivalent of Tiananmen Square in China. So in 2016, as a student at Jualongkorn University, an institution viewed as a bastion of conservatism, my classmates and I decided to take the historic event and organized commemorative activities. I invited Joshua Wong, a fellow student activist from Hong Kong, to address a forum in the hopes that he would inspire a new generation of Thais who could learn from him. Instead, I was shocked when I went to the airport and waited for eight hours, but he didn't come. Later, I learned that he has been detained by the Thai authorities and sent back the next morning to the Hong Kong. This marked the first time that I felt that under a military government, the Thai nation had lost the freedom we once cherished, and my country was now under the influence of Chinese imperial power. The following year, I was elected as a president of student council in my university. Along with seven fellow students, I stayed a walk out from the preaching ceremony for the freshman, where all students were required to prostrate in the front of Rama the fifth statue. Instead, I chose to stand a universal gesture that also conformed with the wishes of the Lama the Fifth in his attempts to modernize our country. This attracted the eye of one of the lecturers who put my friend in a chokehold. The university also accused me of being disobedient and claimed that we had stayed the event. Various alumni association called for my dismissal. This resulted in me being removed from the position as the president of student council. And along with seven other students, we faced disciplinary action. We faced punishment more severe than if we committed the theft. 
in the book for the punishment in my university. It said that if you act on the tape for the first time, it will deduct 20 points of yours. But we have been deducted 25 points. It was on this occasion that I was shower with kindness and a good view from academic worldwide. Eight Nobel laureates and hundreds of academics voiced their concern and called for the university to reconsider their actions, but to no avail. We were just students wanting to voice our opinions. We were not telling any weapons, but instead we were silenced. Recently, in Thailand, a student in turn uncovered a huge corruption scandal involving officials and blessing fund meant for the poor. Military values are being actively imposed in Thai schools. They are adding civil education, which does not support critical thinking at all, but to teach you to be a good, obedient student. The person at the helm of the anti-corruption bureau is the former aide of the infamous minister, who possession as many as 25 luxury watches has been remained untouched. The new constitution allows for the Junta party to be ensured of its existence in the future, and the Senate now are being appointed rather than being elected. All this doesn't include the enforcement of the less majesty law that is used to clamp down on free speech and get rid of people with dissenting opinions. For example, my friend, who is an activist, his name is Pai Dao Din, who shared a BBC News article, was arrested. But another 2,600 people who shared with him were not. This year, also as a result of my involvement in activities calling for democratic election to be held. I was handed yet special honor. I was charged of being a ringleader, instigating trouble, causing dissent, and violating the junta orders. This may result in sentence of six to seven years imprisonment. And just a few, uh, few uh, minutes before, I heard from my friend from Thailand that I also have been in another, another chart. I am quite certain that the seeds of a hope planted for a better Thai society will not disappear. Few months ago, I went to delay my conscription. I wore five watches each hand to be a symbolic act against the infamous Minister of Defense, who said that he had borrowed 25 luxury watches from his dead friend. So I borrow them from still alive friends. This became big news in Thailand, and millions of people watching me approvingly. And a few days ago, when the coup has been on the fourth anniversary, the Facebook page which supports the junta did the poll asking people if they still support the junta. Surprisingly, 90% from 300,000 people said no. The protest came and fell, but sometimes we have been arrested, sometimes the soldiers came to their homes. But people in Thailand now, they never give up. They fail, but they fail better. And the time is going to come that what we are doing is right. Recently, a friend of mine at university and I have started our own student publishing on campus. We translate many good books into Thai. I also have published my own book entitled A Best Student in an Excellent Educational System, which this book is already sold out and in its second printing. 
I hope that what I have talked about today will enable us to see Thailand in a more rounded manner. Being a mass of being a popular Western destination, I urge you, European Union activists around the world, to support our fight for democracy and put pressure on the junta to hold the elections, not delay anymore, not postpone anymore. And this time, I would like you to show your solidarity with me by stand up and show our three fingers like this. These fingers, three fingers, the junta is really afraid, but I am sure that you will not arrested in this room. So <laughs> please show with me. Truth prevails. Thank you very much. <laughs>